Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Okay, I am going to play a game with you. Ready? I'm going to list a bunch of key details, and I want you to think about what the main idea might be. Ready? All right, if I say cat, dog, bunny, and bird, what could the main idea be? What do they all have in common? Did you say pets? Yes, they're all pets. Okay, what about hmm, horse, pig, cow, chicken? What could the main idea be? Yes, farm animals, nice job. Okay, what about pencils, crayons, paper, eraser? What could that main idea be? School supplies, excellent job. You wanna do one more? You do? Okay, cereal, bowl, spoon, milk. What could the main idea be? Yes, breakfast, right? Absolutely, you are good at that. All right, so our story today, not our story, our informational text, right? It's nonfiction, so it's informational. We are going to be learning about some other animal. Right? And we're thinking, what, right, it's right here, we're ready. What physical characteristics, right? We're still thinking about that. But this week we are focusing on the behavior. How does it act? How does it behave? And how does it help it survive? All right. And then we are gonna be working on the main idea of the book and the details. All right, you ready? Drum roll, please. We are going to be reading about ostrich. Let's see, is it full screen? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, ostriches, giant birds. Look at that little face. It's kind of cute. See the little hair poking up? This is the only one looking at the camera. All the other ones are looking away. I hope it didn't hurt the cameraman or camera person. All right, table of contents. Look at that, nonfiction is fantastic. Look at that photograph. Huh, they look like two different birds, don't they? They're both ostriches. This one has black feathers and white with a red neck and head. This one looks like it's all brown. Hmm, I wonder why I bet this one is the male and this one is the female. But I hope we learn when we read. Right, a very big bird, eyes on the prize, home sweet home, what's on the menu? Look out, run! From big egg to big bird, conclusion and the glossary. All right, let's start our first section under the heading, a very big bird. All right, look at this. I know this is how big a person is, like a man, right? Six feet, 175 pounds. Look how tall this ostrich is. It's nine feet, six, seven, eight, nine. It is three feet taller than the man. It's 350 pounds. That's like two times the weight. All right, a very big bird. The ostrich is the biggest bird in the world. Most ostriches are taller than the tallest people. So if you find the tallest person, an ostrich is still gonna be taller. Whoa, that's a big bird. Ostriches have wings and feathers, but they can't fly. Hmm, I wonder what they use that physical characteristic for them. An ostrich can run fast and far. It is the fastest animal with two legs. 
It runs faster than most four-legged animals. Ooh, an ostrich's wings help keep it from falling when it runs. <laughs> well, that's a silly detail. It can't fly, but it helps it run. It helps it stay up. Huh, otherwise they fall over. All right. Hmm. So this behavior, ostriches can run fast and far. Why do you think running fast and far help them survive? What do you think? Let's just guess. Let's make a prediction based on what we know about animals and their prey or their predators. What do you think? That can help them run to get away, right? To stay safe or they can run to help catch their food, depending on what their food is. All right, let's read more to see if we can find out for sure what happens. Ooh, eyes on the prize. Ostriches have small heads with big eyes. Their eyes are bigger than those of any other land animal. They have the biggest eyes out of land animals. An ostrich eye is five times bigger than a human eye. Big. Oh, this is where they live, another map. Do you recognize this continent? It's Africa. All right, home sweet home. Most wild ostriches live in Africa. They live in small herds of 10 or more birds. They live in Africa, the wild ones. Some ostriches are in zoos. Our zoo here has an ostrich in it. Actually, I think there's two of them. Right? So they must have caught them or they were sick and then somebody had to take care of them so they couldn't go live in the wild again. But they live in small herds of 10 or more birds. That means they live in groups. A herd is a group of ostriches. All right, and they can live, they live down here in South Africa in that area. And then over here is where they live too. Must be warm there too. A lot of the animals we're learning about live in very warm habitats. Right. Ostriches use teamwork to stay safe. Their sharp eyes and long necks help them spot danger from far away. Ostriches live peacefully with many other wild animals. All right, I'm gonna highlight some teamwork. Ready? Nope. <laughs> well, I am going to highlight teamwork because that is the action, right? They use teamwork. How does that help them survive? How does using teamwork help the ostriches survive? Go ahead and tell me. Yeah, it helps them stay safe. Stay safe from what? Yeah, predators. Oh, I like that vocabulary. Helps them stay safe from predators, right? Their sharp eyes and long necks. So those physical characteristics help them too. What's on the menu? Ostriches eat grass, other plants, and fruit. They also eat bugs and other small animals. Ostriches don't drink much water. They get water from the plants and fruit they eat. All right, hmm, well that's neat. An ostrich's long neck helps it reach food on the ground. Because if you see, look at how long their legs are. They need to have a long neck to reach down to the ground. So they eat their plants and the grass and fruit. Do you think they need to run to catch those things? <laughs> no, you don't need to run to catch grass. Do you need to run to catch fruit? Not usually, not unless it's rolling away. But they also eat bugs and small animals. Do they need to run to catch bugs? Maybe. Do they need to run to catch small animals? Maybe. So that could be one reason why they run so fast. All right. What makes an ostrich a bird? All right, let's look at these labels. Get nice and close. Oh, this labeling is so cool. All right, look at 
There's the eye. An ostrich has the biggest eye of any bird. This is pointing to its bill. An ostrich has two holes. You see them? In its bill to breathe. It's like our nose hole. Our nostrils, they have bill holes. All right, an ostrich has wings and feathers, but cannot fly. Do you remember what the wings and feathers help it do? Boop, helps it from falling over, helps keep it from falling over. <laughs> Silly. An ostrich has the largest eggs of any land animal. Wow, so they have the largest eggs of any animal on land and the largest eyes. An ostrich has two toes on each foot. So we have five, they only have two. All right, look out, run. Oh, and here's a picture. That looked like dinosaurs a little bit, right? Bird, bird feet. Lions and cheetahs hunt ostriches for food. Ostriches must be on the lookout. You see any? Their long necks help them look far. They have strong legs and big feet. An ostrich can kick very hard. Its kick can kill a lion. A lion is one of the ostrich's many enemies. You see the lion right there? Mmm. So how do the strong legs and big feet how does it help them survive? Yeah, it helps them get away, right? It helps them run from that lion and maybe cheetahs. Yeah. So it also talked about kicking. An ostrich can kick very hard. That's how strong its legs are. How does kicking help the ostrich survive? Go ahead, I'm listening. Absolutely, it helps them survive because they can kick their predators and get away, right? Their kick can kill a lion. That's how strong their legs are. All right. Ostriches make a loud noise when they see a lion. The noise warns other animals that lions are near. An ostrich makes sound from deep in its throat, like way down here. Maybe that's why it's big right there. That's where it's making noise. Oh, making noise. That's an action. That's a behavior. Why do they make a loud noise? Why does the ostrich make a loud noise? Right, it's a warning. Watch out! A lion is near. Right, that's what the loud noise means. From big egg to big bird. A male ostrich digs a shallow pit in the dirt for a nest. The mother lays her eggs in the pit. In six weeks, the baby ostriches will hatch from the eggs. A baby ostrich is the size of a grown chicken. A mother ostrich can lay 40 to 100 eggs every year. That's a lot of little ostrich eggs. An ostrich, an ostrich chick grows about one foot per month. In six months, the baby ostrich will be grown. It can live for 50 years or more. All right, so think about it. What month are we in? January. So January, it will grow this much. So every month it'll grow that much and only six months it'll be full grown. That's big. That's quick growing ostrich. Conclusion. Ostriches are special birds. They are strong and fast. Ostriches are bigger than any other bird. Right. An ostrich can run up to 45 miles per hour. Look at it go up and its feathers are out so it doesn't fall over. That's silly. All right, can you give me one behavior that the ostrich does that helps it survive? It's a 
Just shout it out. Yep, they make a loud noise. I heard someone say run. Kicking. And they all help them survive, helps protect them. Nice job. Let's see, are there anything else? Oh, yeah, they use teamwork, right? They all work together to help keep everyone safe on the lookout. Big eyes helps them. <laughs> about those feathers? I think that's the best key detail ever. All right. Speaking of key details, what is this whole book about? What's the main idea of this book? Give me the full sentence. The main idea is, yeah, nice job. The main idea is all about ostriches. So today you are going to do this again, right? The book title, it's just right? Title, ostriches, ES, Mrs. Kennedy, ES, main idea. Why does it do silly things like that? The main idea. The main idea is all about ostriches. All right. What is one detail that you learned about ostriches? Nice job, the biggest bird in the world. Biggest bird in the world. All right, what else? Now remember, grown-ups, you can type for them. Please let them give you the words. All right, thank you for helping. Hmm, what else is another detail about an ostrich? Right, they can't fly, but they can run. I like that. They can't fly, but they can run fast. Good job. All right, let's think of another one. Go through, give me a good key detail about ostriches. I'm gonna kind of go through, get you a couple of them. Raise your hand when you have one you really, really want to put in there. You like that one? Wow, there's a lot of noise from you guys over there. All right, yeah, ostriches can kick a lion. That's something I didn't know. It can kill a lion with its kick, right? Really helps protect them. That is a great behavior to help protect them. Yeah, they have to be on the lookout. Oh, yeah, this one too. What do they do? Ah, make a loud noise. What, do they, what does that do? Spell it right. <laughs> Ostriches make a loud noise to what? I love it. To warn. Yep. Yeah, to warn other ostriches. Yep. Yeah, I heard you say it about lions. Very good work. All right. So there are more key details. And if you want, Right. If you want, you can go back through the book, like re bring the video back up so you can see all the different details and information about the ostrich. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in the book title, your main idea, and any of the key details. You can do three or four. All right. See if you can find different ones than me or word them differently. All right, what are some details you learned about the ostrich? All right, this is about the ostrich. 
we're practicing with the ostrich. Next week, we're going to have you pick some of your own ones. But for now, all about the ostrich. All right. So this is going to be in Schoology under today for your assignment. Please fill in the book title, the main idea, and then your key details, three or four, please. All right. I hope you have a fantastic day. Do not forget to do your 15 minutes of reading. This is extra. This doesn't count. I want you to practice your reading inside a book at your level. Practice those reading strategies, sounding out words, finding those blends and those chunks that you know. <clears throat> your brain is so beautiful. All right. Have a fantastic day. I hope you have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye.